My project is uh, about essentially the sense of an experience. So um, walking into the space, the idea was to work with the sense of that which cannot be articulated. So in a way, things that are abstract, things that you literally just feel and you sense in a way perception and therefore directly related to poetry. So essentially I'm exploring space as a kind of poetry. When, I, when somebody walks into the space, I essentially want them to have a stroll, have an absolutely playful experience, a kind of engagement where they can participate and respond to the various things they see. My inspirations are actually several people. It's very difficult to pin down any one list. However, at this point, I would say that uh, the artists of uh, the likes of Th Thomas Hershon, uh, Joan Erdley, and uh, Budichko, uh, that's Christoph Budichko, has been very, very influential. And at this point, a lot of my sort of theoretical influences or uh, the sense of poetry that I'm talking about comes from John Burnside and uh, Maurice Merleau-Ponty, who uh, talk about, again, the sense of perception about this nothingness and the ideas of space and place in a very poetic sense. My artistic practice actually revolves around the ideas of material poetry. So materials are very, very important. In fact, I like to work with materials that are essentially easily accessible. Uh, and it's very important that they are materials that are commonplace and everyday, so essentially low cost as well. Uh, at the moment, I'm absolutely obsessed and surrounded with cardboard. A uh, lot of this cardboard in all its forms, including packaging, brown paper, etc., is all either collected or scavenged from the streets. So there is that element of finding and collecting, or it has been donated by somebody, or it's just basically been lying around and I've essentially stolen it at times. <laughs> so yeah. I primarily work with printmaking, which is my absolute favorite place. I uh, delve with the uh, medium of waterless lithography, which is essentially very, very, again, intuitive and very uh, sort of uh, close to the ideas of drawing and painting. I'm from India and I have recently moved to Danti. And I was, uh, the reason I was really interested in taking up this course was uh, because I was transitioning in my career. I used to work as a film dire uh, assistant director and I kind of wanted this full-time practice and a sense of research to find a sense of my voice. And I thought that the, the again, the balance and the interdisciplinary aspect of this course offered me uh, the perfect opportunity to transition and start sort of a new career. best thing about this course is the sense of interdisciplinary uh, practice. The fact that you can actually walk into the space with absolutely no idea or no intention of what to do and by the sheer sense of the amount of disciplines and the amount of roots that it has to offer, you end up getting attracted to so many things like so many workshops, so many humanities ideas, literature. Um, actually, the entire university has this very open sense so you can actually go and approach any department and just have a conversation and from there literally start on an entire research project of your own. I realized uh, I will miss lots of things but amongst them uh, I will definitely be missing the studio space, this big sort of white beautiful space and the gardens where I often take a book out and take a nap and the printmaking studio, my absolute favorite place in this entire university. I'm looking forward to my journey from here uh, because that would mean that I will actually be looking at residencies and research, sort of taking my current plan of this kind of a cardboard pop-up space into the community. I'm going to actually hopefully prepare for a PhD 
<laughs> later on uh, but immediately I'll be looking for residencies and artists programs or even working with museums at some point.